gumagawa ng acne breakout story tapos may pimple. <laughs> Hello! So today we're going to do a different kind of video, a somehow story time, a talky video. We're in at the same time, I'm going to give you some tips, tricks, or can I call them life lessons? Lessons that I learned when I broke out. But it's all good, it's all good, everything is under control. So I wanted to do this video because I want to help you guys when you are in the same situation that I was and that you are breaking out. You don't know what to do, it's as if nothing is working. Alright, my intro is very long, ang daldal ko. Very sorry, let's go. So I have been using the same skincare line for almost 10 years and that skincare line is the proactive. So I follow the three step system which is you cleanse, you tone and then you moisturize or you put on your medication and you also have a mask. I started using proactive when I was in the first year of high school, FYI. So it was a really trusted product. I did not have any problems regarding any pimples after using it. That is until December 2014. On December 2014, my skin went haywire. I had a lot of acne on my cheeks. Which is very unusual because when I get acne, I get them here, around here, when it's the time of the month. So I would know that, oh, I'm going to be visited by that red-haired lady. So since I was not used on having pimples on my cheeks, I was freaking out. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I wanted to get rid of it ASAP. I went to a dermatologist. And here we have lesson number one. Be patient with your trusted skincare. But I was very impatient. I wanted to scrap my trusted skincare line and just went with whatever the dermatologist gave me so that I can get rid of my pimples. ASAP. That was my number one mistake. So anyway, I went to Derm Clinic. The dermatologist there was so sweet and I had a facial and then they did, they picked my pimples, they took the gunk out. I looked like a Dalmatian for a month because there were a lot. <sighs> I used the new Derm line and that skincare line has a buttload of products. I'm not kidding. You have a cleanser, you have a toner, you have another toner as medication, you have a cream for a Gly toner cream, and you have another cream for the spots, and then you have to alternate two medications for your acne. It's so burdensome, it is such a hassle to put on your face every morning and every night because it takes a lot of time. But at the time, I really didn't care. All I cared about was that it would get rid of my acne. And also, the price. My mom spent almost 18,000 on that skincare line. Thank you, mommy, sa paggastos para sa mukha ko para sa aking kaartehan. For January, February, and March, it worked so great. It eradicated my pimples here. It even refined the bumps on my face. The only problem that I had were the acne marks and the hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. What happened next was that the cleanser and the Nuderm line ran out. And that cleanser is actually a very oily and watery substance that when you put on your face, it's as if you're putting on oil on your face. It does not lather, it does not soap up. So, instead of buying another cleanser, I thought, why not save money and just use Cetaphil? Because it looked and felt the same way. That is where we go to the second lesson, which is do not mix other skincare products with your skincare line while your skin is still recovering from breakouts. I used Cetaphil with the rest of the Nuderm line and it worked out great. But I realized that as I went on with them, the Cetaphil plus Nuderm, I realized that I started to get bumps on random places on my face. And these bumps do not look like pimples. They look like pustules. They do not have eyes. 
what are those? And also at that time, the other products that I have been using in the Nuderm line are already irritating my skin. But I still kept on using them. So I just figured, oh, maybe Cetaphil was the one that was making all of that skin reaction. So I decided to use a different cleanser. Here we have our third lesson. Stop whatever it is, skincare that you are using when your skin is already irritated. So I switched to another cleanser and this time I used the Clean and Clear Lemon Brightening Cleanser. Is that right? I have a review on that product. I'll put a link down below and I really liked that cleanser it cleaned my face like no other cleanser that I have ever used and at this time I cut back on some of the products that I have been using in the new derm line because I thought oh maybe I should cut back on some of the products because my skin is being overwhelmed or bombarded by these products so I just made the decision that I should use fewer products for specific purposes. So that routine worked out for quite quite a long time, but I realized that I was starting to have bumps on my forehead again. So I was somehow okay with it because I could still cover it up with makeup. But I tell you, my skin was not clear. It was red and it had bumps, but at the least, I was okay with it because I didn't have a lot of big pimples on my cheeks. But again, my cleanser ran out and I don't know what went into my brain and I decided to try a different cleanser. And this time, I used the Clean and Clear. Also, from Clean and Clear, I used the Acne Marks Cleanser. I have a review on that. Go check out that video down below to for you guys to know what my thoughts are regarding that product. And here we have another lesson. Stop switching from skincare to skincare to another skincare because your skin would freak out. And that is precisely what happened on my face. My face broke out from that cleanser. I was back to square one. I had big bumps on my cheeks but now I had bumps here and I also had bumps on my forehead. I didn't know what to do until I realized that the cleanser broke me out. So I stopped using that. But at this stage, I was already so scared on trying a different skincare product that I don't know what to do. Also, I didn't want to use the Nuderm line anymore because I felt that they were not working anymore. So we went to Daisy's skincare clinic. I know that it's not that popular, but the thing is, they just do a great job there. I would put a link to their website down below if you want to check them out. They are great when it comes to facials. I was given a new skincare routine, but this time, the skincare routine is so simple. I only had the Daisy's cleanser. I forgot the exact um, name but I would flash the picture here and I have a treatment for my acne which is actually benzoyl peroxide but it is called adapalene I only had two so I just had to wash my face and then put on the medication here we have the next lesson sometimes when it comes to skincare when your skin is freaking out simple is the way to go and that routine worked perfectly fine until December 2015 and again I had bumps everywhere huge bumps I didn't know what to do until ding, 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 ding. one time I woke up and felt that I should use this skincare line now for this skincare line it would be a different video because I wanted to do a very in-depth and very information heavy video on this skincare line because this skincare line saved my face so that's it for my acne breakout story I hope I helped you somehow based on my experiences if you want to know what skincare line I use to save my face Stay tuned for that video. I would do a separate video. I hope to stay tuned for that. Abangan, abangan. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also go download my app. Link is down below. This is Tish and I'll just see you on my next video. Bye!
These are my social media, so follow me, tweet me, stalk me. Okay, do not stalk me, but let's just be friends.